Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today I have a fun card to share with you. Actually, I have two of them. With the One Stamp at a Time design team, we have a blog hop. Our theme is whether or not. And we can take that pretty much any way we want. But the way I took it is to make a card with a theme on the weather at, at where I'm at. And I happen to be in Sarasota, Florida. So I had a pretty hard decision in choosing between the Sunny Splash, which is filled with swimsuits and cute sentiments, or the Paradise Palms, which has the palm trees and the sunsets and some very pretty sentiments and the Paradise Palms one. So let's turn this camera around. We'll get started and I'll show you some great tips and some new products. So the Paradise Palms is gonna be the theme of my card. I've also got the Paradise dies, and these are really neat dies that go along with the stamp set. Both of these items are retiring on May 1st is the last day to get your hands on them. But I did have a few of the dies here that I thought were really interesting. We've got the grass die, which is always fun and useful for a lot of different stamping. We've got this intricate like fern leaf, which I think is really cool. And then this die, which is actually, whoops, this long, that makes for some really neat type of tropical elements with a card. And of course you can see there's the palm trees. We've got three together. We've got individual palm trees. We've got some little coconuts here, the palm tree tops, and a circle for the sun or moon, whichever you prefer. I decided to pair this with the Enjoy the Journey Designer Series paper. I really liked kind of the sunset look on the back of these two prints. And um, I've got a card that I'm going to share with you that I made with these two prints. We're going to be using this one for the card that I'm going to show you how to make today. We're combining this with the Paradise or I'm sorry, the iridescent pastel gems because we've got a bluish color and also an orangish color that's gonna work out perfect for the cards. I've got the three twine combo pack. We'll be using the Calypso Coastal Cabana color, not Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana. It also comes with garden green and pumpkin pie. I pulled out a couple of my layering circle dies. The larger of the two circles is about two and three eighths inches, and the smaller one is one and seven eighths inches. We're gonna use So Saffron ink, also retiring, Coastal Cabana ink, Sahara sand, and Memento black. And then I've got my essentials here, my mini glue dots, my take your pick tool, liquid glue, dimensionals, paper snips, bone folder, and this is a bow jig, and I'll show you how to use this. All right, let's get started here with our cardstock layers. Now, first of all, I wanna tell you that the um, dimensions, still photos, and then a complete list of all the ingredients that I am showing you today will be listed on my blog, www.estampabove.com. So you can just click on the link that's gonna pop up in the top right corner when we get to the end of the video and that'll take you right to that blog post so you can see all the details. Just in case you forgot what color ink and cardstock was this, it's gonna all be listed there for you with the dimensions so you can recreate this card if you would like. This is Sahara Sand, this is my card base. It's four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half. Then I have a basic white layer for the inside that's four by five and a quarter, a three quarter inch scrap of the designer series paper. We're gonna trim that. Then I decided to use this for the front of my card. And this is just kind of a scenery design. And that is from the Enjoy the Journey designer series paper. So this particular pattern I just cut four by five and a quarter out of this bottom left hand corner and the opposite side of the paper looks like this. 
A lot of these papers in the Enjoy the Journey are hard to see on my sampler that I have, so I thought I'd share some of them with you. We've got some winter patterns and then smaller images on the back, which I love about our double-sided designer paper. Here's another one. I thought this would look really cool for a tropical card also. This is the large sheet that um, I'm going to be using some circles cut out of that. Here's another, oh, I already showed you this one. Here's some really pretty like mountain type patterns, some starry skies. This is another one that I love. And again, we have some landscape. And I think that about does it. So beautiful, beautiful paper. The one thing I like is you've got the landscape type scenes on one side and then very small patterns to use for any type of card on the other side. This Enjoy the Journey goes with a whole suite of products. You can find that in the January through April mini catalog. Okay, next I've got a scrap of basic white. I have already cut the two and three eighths inch circle using the layering circle dies. This is a scrap of Coastal Cabana, and I am going to use that to cut out um, the smaller circle, which is one and seven eighths. So I have a circle in that. And then I also used a scrap of this designer series paper to cut out two more circles that are the same size as this one. So we've got all of those. This is my basic white envelope. I love to decorate my envelopes and it's super easy to make your cards match your envelopes when you're using designer series paper. I just add some multi-purpose liquid glue around the outside edge of that flap and I'm going to take a two and a half by six inch piece of the designer paper glue it right to that flap and then use the back side as a guide to help me cut around the envelope flap which makes it super easy and I firmly believe that as long as we have all the tools out and we're stamping we should always make our envelopes match our projects no naked envelopes this makes somebody happy when they open up their mailbox and I definitely want that feeling when I'm sending a card Okay, we're gonna take this inside layer and we're going to get that stamped up right away. Now I like to use a piercing mat. This is what that's called. I sell them in my store. I wrap it with um, printer weight paper and just tape it on there with some scotch tape. This is my stamping surface. We're gonna stamp our sentiment on here with Memento Black Ink. And I've got the sentiment that says, wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. I have to tell you, today is not a warm and beachy type of day in Sarasota. It is raining today and it's rather windy. Can't have everything, right? Um, as long as we've got that ink out, let's take our little scrap of basic white and we're gonna stamp that happy birthday. Now you could use the retirement sentiment or any other sentiment you would like. I'm gonna make a birthday card and now we can put that away. I like to do a little bit more to decorate the inside of my card as well. And again, one of my big things is that I firmly believe you should be decorating the insides of cards. When somebody opens a card, the party should not be over, it should continue on. So I am going to stamp the larger of the palm trees right up here with the Coastal Cabana ink. And then I've got the palm tree trunk that I'm going to put right up to that palm tree. Oh, that turned out really good. <gasps> Woo! Winning! Next, I'm gonna take that three quarter inch strip of designer series paper, and I'm going to add it to the bottom of this layer. Now, lots of times we have lots of scraps left in our designer series paper packs. 
why not take those to spruce up the insides of your card so, like I said, the party isn't over when somebody opens the card and all they see is maybe a sentiment in your signature. Let's get those decorated too. No naked envelopes, no naked insides. We are ready to put that right inside our Sahara Sand card base. I've already scored that at five and a half. And we'll get this inside. I like to turn this around so I can see the three sides on the outside. The full line doesn't matter so much, but I like to get this in here evenly. This you don't notice as much. Okay, doesn't that look nice? Yeah, beachy, right? Okay. We are going to take that basic white two and three eighths inch circle, and that's where I'm going to stamp um, my palm trees. And I decided to go with just straight color. I'm not going to make them different colors. I just thought this was, I wanted to keep it quick and easy, nice and simple. Oh, you know what? I already made a mistake here. Hang on. We're going to do the Sahara sand bottom first before we stamp those trees because I've got a little trick that I want to share with you. This is Sahara sand ink. I'm going to stamp that off once and then I'm going to come in here and stamp this right on the bottom of my circle. And I stamped it off once just to make it a little bit lighter. I'm going to grab my chamois and clean the stamp off. And then we're gonna start over with that. So I am going to not ink up the bottom trunk on here because that's gonna make my trees too tall and I want them to kind of stop in my sand image. So I'm gonna ink them up about right to there. And that's just a little tip or trick you can use if you need to make your image just a little bit smaller. And I really like that rather than having those trees go all the way off the bottom like that. So that turned out really good. Next, I'm gonna grab the So Saffron. And this is a sun or a moon. You can use it for whatever you'd like. And I'm also gonna stamp that off once just to make it a little lighter. Stamp it right over my palm tree. I like that look a lot. And now I think we're ready to assemble these. I'm going to take these circles and I'm gonna add them. I'm gonna do a dry fit first. So I'm gonna take these, these are the smaller circles. And then I'm going to bring in this one. This is our Coastal Cabana circle. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our palm trees. And I like to use my take your pick tool to get those backings off. This is gonna go right in here. So we can glue these down. I've got placement for them, so I know where I want them to be. And we'll do this one, whoops. This one right about here. Then we're going to glue this one down. We're going to overlap that. And then we're going to bring this one in. And that's going to go right between these two. And now we're going to trim those circles off by using the back as a guide. There we go. This can go right on the front of our card now. And I love that Sahara sand with the beachy card. I just think it was a good color for the card base. I'm gonna take the Coastal Cabana twine from the three twine combo pack and I'm going to make a triple bow. This is a bow jig. It's just got two nails in it with some holes. And I'm gonna wrap this around here twice and then tie it 
in a knot around those center pieces. Now I do have these for sale. Um, I just sell them for the convenience of being able to get them. They're $10 to US residents only. If you would like one, just pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and I will be happy to invoice you. The $10, once you pay it, I will ship off your Bojig. I have a video that I can send you a link that shows you how to use it. So it's, they're pretty nice. If you struggle with bows, they are really a good way to alleviate that stress and make perfect bows every time. Here we go. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is that this designer paper is also going to be retiring on May 1st, so you can get your hands on that too. I love this paper, it's so, so pretty. So here's my little beachy card. The only thing we have left is some embellishments. And the iridescent pastel gems I thought were just perfect for this particular card. And I'm just going to pop these in here to give it just a little bit of bling. I'm gonna put one more right up here. We've got those clouds in the background. That's part of our designer paper. Here's the inside of our card. I've got a fantastic birthday card to send out to anybody. And a matching envelope. And then I wanted to show you, I also made the card, the same card, with some different colors. So I used this particular pattern of designer paper. And I also used our brand new Basics 3D embossing folders. These are part of our new online exclusive products that you're only going to find in my online store. And you'll be able to find that on my blog in the link in just a few minutes here that I'm gonna put up, up on the top. You get all three of these embossing folders. They are 3D embossing folders, which mean they leave a really deep impression. I love these. So I use this hash, it's like hashtags on the background of this stamp instead of the designer series paper. Oh, I forgot to do my happy birthday, you guys. We need to do that. I just took that, I just realized it when I looked at that other card and I just cut it out. And this is just kind of a neat way to put a sentiment on a card. And this is very popular so popular that we actually have um, a stamp set that has a bunch of sentiments in it and you can die cut them with dies, which is, which is wonderful, right? The best of all worlds. And that's called charming sentiments if you happen to look for it. Here comes our little happy birthday. I knew something was missing on here. I'm glad I didn't let you get away without putting that on here. So here's our blues and greens. Here is our orange, same exact card, two different looks. And again, I use the Paradise Palms and there are Paradise or Palm dies that go with that. Both of these are retiring, the paper's retiring. Um, lots of good things here if you wanna get your hands on them you will be able to head over to my blog when you click right up here. That's gonna take you right to this blog post where you're gonna find still photos. You'll find a um, replay of this video as well as a complete ingredient list, which when you click on the Paradise Palm stamp set, it's gonna take you right to my online store. Please don't forget, click down here to subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, there should be a little subscribe button there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. We have a brand new catalog that starts May 2nd. And I would love to mail you a copy if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I would love to earn your business. Pop me an email again at kelly at stampabove.com. Pop me an email with your address and let me know that you'd like this catalog. I'd be happy to ship it off to you. Um, there's so many beautiful things in here. I can't show you the inside yet. Not until May 2nd, but we're gonna have so much fun with this catalog. Again, don't forget to subscribe. When you click on this link up here, it's going to take you to my blog. You're gonna scroll down until you see 
some thumbnails um, or uh, I can't remember. I can't remember if there's going to be thumbnails there or if there's going to be a list of names, but you're going to want to look for the blog hop, the other people that are in it. They're all making cards with the same theme, weather or not. And I'm curious to see how everybody's weather is going across the world. It should be fun. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Have a great Thursday. Bye-bye.